Good morning everyone, welcome back to C5, let's play as Shoshone. Um, and, okay, I did it already. So, let's continue. Like, the goal right now is to finish those libraries and then start working on National College. And then maybe build some caravan series and stuff. Can I kill you? I'm, am I even going to get XP? Probably not. Gain three happiness if it's in my wonders. <laughs> if I'm within my world borders, and it's probably not going to be a uh, worker. What am I even going to do? Oh no, you're not building a road, you're just, build, just doing nothing useful. Um, let's build a road maybe, or actually, let's. Well, can't do anything anyway since I can't go in the same tile. Oh, let's just cross the river. I don't think I got any XP from that. Okay, so it's nicely growing. That's reasonable, I guess. This is still growing, 16 turns. That's fine. I don't think this is a very reasonable tile in the long term. It doesn't produce any food, and I don't have like infinite amount of food right now. But that's not something to be worried about anytime soon. So strategically, uh, the civilization I should like crush are the Inca, the Egypt, and Indonesia. Okay, do I have like um, any salt to sell? Resource list. I uh, what 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 can I have a double of? Oops! Oh, that's how it's disappearing. I'm just clicking randomly, and I just misclick a few times. Uh, this is salt. Do I have six? I should have six salt. I'm missing one of the salts. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is salt number six. So I can actually trade salt for whales. Did somebody want whales? Uh, Timoak wanted whales, so let's get that trade going. Bagyo. Whales for salt. Muscle. Go for it. I'm really happy to like to trade looks for looks, even if that's my last copy. AI never does it. Like, it makes perfect sense. You're not losing anything this way. And uh, Temuak is going to have the bonus for it. And they demand whales and they're getting whales, so they're going to get something. It's going to increase their growth. That, that makes perfect sense. Copper, I forget, I don't forget. Well, they would buy stuff from me, but that's not super, super useful. I'm going, I, I can have multiple ivories, but right now I have zero. Like, Right now, I think I definitely made a mistake so, g giving back this worker. It was completely pointless. I don't get any long-term bonus this way, and that was my um, only real chance to get it. Um, oh, it's going to be caravan. I should probably like, get a worker. Or I could go to war with someone and then steal a worker. I, I mean, not go to war just for the sake of one worker, but... If I'm going to go to war with somebody, I might as just as well steal a worker from them. It's no reason not to. You see, they became religious. Good, so I can make a pagoda. Um, I have like, a lot of happiness. Maybe I just overdid it. I really panicked because I wanted, really, really wanted this one mod that... Uh, gives more lux luxuries and now that i see this like maybe that's an overkill it could be but i'm not going to uh get rid of my happiness now i'm totally fine with being extra Was happy nun? trade Was habt ihr gesagt? Uh, what am i selling to you i'm selling you some resource i don't know is the, does the embassy stay forever, like much longer than the gold pattern? Because that would actually make a lot of sense. Anyway, um, I finished caravan. Um, what do they want? They recommending those things. Um, Granary gives bonus for wheat, deer, and bananas. I have one deer, one wheat at least, so 
That seems reasonable. Two bonuses for Granary. Um, uh, yeah, so let's decide where to... what to use. Uh, so I can make some food from Mosan Kani. I can send some food or I can get um, up to 5 gold or up to 1 science. So Mosan Kani to Amsterdam looks like a good road and Timor to Amsterdam looks like a good road. This one looks safer. Yeah, let's get to Amsterdam. I, I don't plan to go to go to war with, with the Dutch anytime soon. I mean, I could go to war just to steal a, steal a worker, but yeah, don't really need this. Okay, so just improve this deer. I should go back, especially with this one. At some point, I'm going to go go to war with Ramses. Ramses is strong enough that it matters. Like. I may like never care about, depending on what victory condition I go for, I may never care about the Dutch uh, Netherlands anymore. It's not like they're going to threaten me. I mean, they're very close, but I don't think AI is all that keen at attacking stronger players, and I'm probably going to be a stronger player for a long time. Actually, let's take a look at like uh, rankings. Where are the rankings? Actually, what are the global relations? Okay, so we should be best friends with Venice, but we're not. Are they still at war? Okay, so Portugal and Germany are still at war. Anyway, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a ranking. Uh, oh, technologies ranking. Okay, so Venice. So I'm actually not that. I thought I'm going to be the last. Like the last time I just checked, like science. And, oh, my science is actually the highest somehow. But it's it's the total science, but it also depends on number of cities you have. So if you have more cities, like you get a free city from air for some reason, then you need more science for the same tech. So that's why the technologies is actually... I'm a bit behind Venice on technologies, but I'm not far behind. I'm about uh, about the same place where everybody else is. And if I get a National College fairly early, I might actually do relatively well. Okay, look, let's turn. It's a king difficulty, so... AI has some bonuses, but it doesn't. the bonuses are not ridiculous. If you play a like, super high difficulty like the AT, AI gets like such ridiculous bonuses, you always, always get... Uh, where, where are you? How did I find you? Uh, that AI is like always like 5 tech ahead of your early game. And here is just... They're going to be ahead if they actually do something to be ahead. What? Oh, construct the camp. Chop down the forest, construct the camp. Uh, yeah, sure. Turns. That's just fine. That's so slow. Let's see Grassman General. What? Was it, did I ever have Grassman General? A horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse! Okay, that's a nice quote. Uh, engineering, that additional trade route, or is pre just not to ensure that's any good? Aqueduct, ain't aqueduct. Don't know. Oh, I, st I st well, I kind of need everything. So let's build this. Let's get this in case I need to go to war. And actually, I'd like to have one horseman for like taking cities. So if I if I had like three composite bowmen and one horseman, I could probably take take fifths, and that would probably be really nice. It seems I had two wonders of some kind. Uh, there was some way to check which one those different players have. Uh, okay, there's nothing here. I mean, the, the Pathfinder can just walk around doing nothing, but this, these dudes should just come back. And I think I'm just going to circle this way and come back. Assuming it's even possible. It might not be. Actually, like, let's take a look at... Uh, it might be here, in Fadict. Okay. Wonders, wonders, wonders. Is this a wonders? Uh, wonders, good. So, Egypt has three, three wonders already, I thought it was just two. That becomes more tempting, that becomes now a lot more tempting. Oh, and also like this, I could build Petra. Um, 
I don't know if this is something I actually want to build. It is nice if you get it, but you might not. Hello, Milan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, did I pledge to protect everybody I wanted? Uh, neutral 5. Okay, we pledged to protect those. Pledge to protect those. Everybody who's like close enough that I don't think they're going to be bullied by anyone. Pledge, pledge. Uh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just checking. Yeah, everybody who's like near me. I don't think I have much chance. Okay, the Jews haven't got over it. Like, I have no way to protect my power all the way there anytime soon. Maria has entered medieval era. Um, I'm trying not to, strangely. And the reason I'm trying not to is because I think the cost of faith purchases increases with every era, so if I stay in the same era longer, then I can get the same stuff cheaper. So I'm just trying to stay on the old era while I'm increasing my technologies. Okay, so yeah, slowly building roads. I'll try to fidget with the mouse a bit less, since uh, it probably looks ridiculous on YouTube. I'll probably sti still keep doing that whenever I forget, but if I remember, I will try to do it a bit less. Okay, I can cross this place. Oh, let's go. Yeah, I'll just discover here. At some point, we'll have to head back home. <laughs> Good. Okay, this is locked. Let's work on this one. Religion found it. Uh, oh my god, the Muslim. And that's Egyptian War Child. This is the special unique. And I think my religion is going to win this game. I mean, there's no way to actually win the game by religion. It just does give some small bonuses. But right now. There are more Mormons in the world than everybody else put together. There are five Mormon cities and only one of everybody else. And there will be one more religion at some point. So I have a pretty good shot at doing really well, but it doesn't actually give you that, that, that much to have your religion spread everywhere. Hey, it gives you something, but not all, not all that much. I can spread my religion here, maybe. They want my lands. The embassy. Does anybody actually like me? Venice, would you like me? Oops. Oh, I can't move if I'm looking. Uh, friends in Portugal. Yes. We should be like best buddies with Venice. Um, okay, anyway, next turn. There is no rush with any of that. No longer friends in general. Well, happens. Yay, golden age. That's nice. Okay, we got pagodas. We can get more pagodas. Um. Okay, I love policy. Let's think about the policy. Can we get aesthetics for uh, free calls? Uh, I don't really. I, I like. I don't really understand the great person system. I understand what great generals are for, and great scientists are just for like academies and, and extra science. Everybody else just seems kind of pointless. Um, could we get this and go for diplomatic victory, or we could try liberty maybe? Like, do I want to continue this way? Happiness in every city that's connected, minus 10% on happiness from. It just goes to happiness, but maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe once like every. My population starts increasing, I'll just start losing happiness so fast that I'm just going to regret not taking happiness stuff. Or we could take patronage and just try something. Uh, try to make every city state happy with me. That sounds reasonable. That's like the easiest victory condition is just is diplomatic. I don't think I ever won the game other than by diplomacy or domination, and usually when you try to go... Like, usually it doesn't matter which victory condition you go for, you're eventually going to... Uh, 
get diplomatic victory accidentally, basically. I would probably want at some point to take rationali rationalism, so maybe unlocking everything is not that great. Um, let's get happiness. Happiness is always good, even even with mods. Uh, can I cross it? Wait, what? You can actually go to water? No. Oh, he doesn't understand that this, this, uh, this is definitely a water tile. Uh, okay, let's go south. Like, the map sort of tells you where the water is, but... Um, the algorithm that's used for actually pathing doesn't, so... I'm just going to walk around here and go home. So I have some unit in a guide car. This city looks so nice. What has begun on a worker? Okay. Uh, What just happened? Okay, so it takes one extra turn for it to figure out that I cannot actually uh, purchase the same thing. Uh, I wouldn't mind an extra profit. I still need one more profit to finish my religion. To one profit to found the religion and a second profit to actually, uh, well, enhance it. You need disorders. Like, going around there is somewhat pointless, I guess. Um, yeah, we need one more worker. So I'll just spend one time building a worker and then I'll just go to National College. And after that, finish the worker. And after it finishes the library, I'm probably going to uh, annex it. Bullet, that's not gonna happen. Choose production. Okay, there's a library done. That would be nice since that gives me two bonuses for bananas. That sounds reasonable. And monument after that. Uh, yeah, so it's it's currently growing very slowly but once it once I finish granary it's just going to get two extra food and it's just going to grow three times faster. Uh, can I go this way? Okay this is just magic chain so this pathfinder can't find anything else probably. I mean I could just go around and go here but yeah. Okay and just try go home somehow. Uh, did you build a road? Uh, are you using all the right places? Okay, we could do some farms and stuff. It could be the TP or... Can the farm? Farm is one food. TP is one food and one culture. The, the question is... Does, does TP get the same bonuses as a, a farm? So, I am not entirely sure. Let's check a look at you. Uh, where are you exactly? Can I get details from... Uh, okay, Cydopedia. Where's the thing? Does TP get, get the same bonuses as... Oh, here it is. Like, this is the... Yields plus one food and plus one culture. That is totally fine. So does it mean it never gets any bonuses from from the stuff that that? Uh, yes, farm also gets just one food, but farm gets extra stuff later. Like uh, when you unlock extra technologies, farms get better. The question is, does TP get better? Because if TP gets better. 
done farms, then, then this is just amazing. If it doesn't, then it's kind of pointless. Let's take a look at it. The first one that does it is, I think, civil service. Food from farms increases by one. So, and yeah, so it, by farms and terrace. Farms. So I don't think TPs ever get better. So that makes TPs kind of completely 100% pointless. And this is food by farms get plus one. Well, not necessarily pointless. It's a question of one food and one culture versus two food. Guess we could maybe. I don't know. Let's just first make a road. I'll think about the farms and TPs later. Oh, so TP gets a second culture of archaeology? Does that, is that what it means? Three things are to be looked to. Uh, if it does give second culture, this is actually pretty decent, so it's not that horrible. Okay, so let's go archaeology. Doesn't say anything. I don't know, this stuff is from the mod, not from the base game. So maybe that's uh, why it doesn't actually tell it. So what do we do now? And that's an extra trade route, that's... Is that something I care about? I don't really care about military units all that much. I mean, having optics at some point is nice. But do I want to like, get something fast? I would like crossbowmen relatively fast. Throw kills. Yeah, let's get engineering. I don't think I, I care about anything on, on this part of the, the tree. Or civil service, maybe? That's food from... F Actually, there's a lot of food. You can get it. Well, yeah, okay, let's get engineering first and then I will think about it. I kinda want crossbowmen. Okay. Wait, uh, why are you doing this? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, I wanted National College and I forgot about it completely. Uh, we can delay it by two turns, it's not a huge deal. It's fine. And here, what could you build? We could build a caravansary. That sounds entirely reasonable. Does anything else look very useful? I guess market looks nice. The thing is that with the mod caravansaries keep one extra trade route, so that makes them so much better. Um, stables give plus to production then. So this is plus one production per horse and cattle and sheep, and I have two horses. Um, not from bison, I think. No. So just just cows and horses and sheep. So it's not all that amazing. But I could do that. Plus three face. Guess that's pretty fast. Five times. Yeah, let's do this way. The road. Uh, this is still not improved, so let's improve this one. It's a very slow game, and, and not much is happening. And like there could be like a lot of fighting happening, but we really didn't. The biggest military victory was was in Netherlands being like really scared of me and was giving me a city for free. This was like most of the war. <laughs> Which was not an amazing performance by them. Okay, uh, we're kind of working a lot of tiles that are not very good. Yeah, there's like a hill with nothing on it and we're working this. And um, perhaps we should not. Turns. Uh, I'll build a farm or a tipi here. I'll probably build a tipi here. Um, yeah, let's do this. 
Okay. Celestial production. Um, can I go this way? Okay. I don't think there's anything interesting down there, but unless I want to fight Egyptians anytime soon. Kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty. No longer friends with Vilnius, that's so sad. Oh, what, who are you? Are you a settler? Oh my god, I just want to attack them so much right now. Just to prevent them from settling anything ever. I don't like AI like, settling anything. It would be so nice if they never settled anything at all. Okay, so I have extra salt I could trade for something. You have spices which I could buy. Reasonable. Wederom gegroet. You have Ik hoor. extra spices. And uh, yeah, what's this? Uitstekend. Oh good. There's some more horses I could um, still improve. Oh yeah, this is the worker I recruited. What could we do? We could build some mines, I guess. And I don't think it makes much sense to build a road all the way to a gate K yet. Like the longer the road, the, the more it costs, and the bonus is depending on city size, and it's really small right now. And like it, it will have some military use eventually, but not anytime soon. Can I build a farm? It's not going to be a very useful farm just yet. Um, I could send you all the way up there. Or we could make one mine. Let's make one mine. For now. Like, I'm not doing a lot of any micromanagement of the cities. I'm just like, this looks reasonable, this doesn't look reasonable. If you like play at very high difficulty, which I'm not playing, uh, then it would make sense to like really really focus on micromanaging everything. And if you like look very closely at how I'm playing, it probably just is really horrible. I, I'm not actually sure if it's horrible, maybe I do like a reasonable job, but it's probably not very good. Uh, is there anything? I mean, I could just go there. How much does the military look like? Let's, let's take a look at military ranking. Uh, military soldiers, what is it called? Military manpower. It's somewhat meaningless. What does it mean, the soldiers number? We are fairly low and Egypt is the highest. That is actually worrying because Egypt is the one we most likely to fight. So maybe we need like a two more military units at least. And maybe we need to get those units we have somewhere closer to home. Uh, build a pasture, build a mine. I don't think anything is going to be here. Well done, what if it's covered already? I think we should prepare for some fights with Egypt. Like, not to take the city. Oh my god, yeah, that looks like they're going to attack me. Oh my god. Uh, that was a big mistake then from me. Let's get these dudes. Up here? No? Okay, uh, now I think that Egypt is probably going to attack me. <laughs> like, it's not certain, but like, they are, they seem to be like really interested in doing that. So, let's send you back here. Actually, like, at some point we want the road. How do we want the road to go? This way? This way? Does it matter? It sort of matters strategically, like... Like, it has to connect this way, but like... Am I more likely to want to go this way or that way? And uh, probably across the river, okay, so... I have enough, enough gold that I can buy one unit. Um, what 
do I even have composite? Okay, I could buy two units of composite bowmen. So if they attack me, I'm just going to buy some composites. Or even barracks and composites. Yeah, I, I just started panicking because I see that the war might just start happening. So the biggest, highest production city is a Rotterdam, strangely. What? Rotterdam has high, massive production. How? Is it 17 production? Like, really? No. Oh, sorry, this is the number of turns until it's produced. I was just confused, like, what the hell is happening? How do they have, like, 17... Uh, 17 production? Uh, and they look like a fairly small city. They have 20, 22 production. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at the cities. Our cities here. Uh, cities. Oh no, this is number of cities by country. Um, there is some kind of a city or city size thing somewhere. I'm not confused. Graphics, no. I know, like Civilization has like so many screens of with information, and I don't know how where half of them is. So let's just take a look at cities and see which one has. 33 production. This one is a really nice production. Maybe this should be our, our military city. So we could do that. And we could start building stuff here. So um, I'm probably going to buy the first composite bowman or maybe two composite bowmen and start defending myself because it seems like really Egypt is trying to attack me. Fine, let's build one now. I'll need it eventually anyway, so I might as well buy one now. And if they attack me, I'll buy a second one. And get and get the third one uh, nor faster instead of exploring any anymore. Next turn? Are they going to attack me? It seems that they really want to, so they have three swordsmen and one uh, one bowman, composite bowman. So they have at least four units. Uh, best fed people. Ah, we have some money, that's good. And that's our last religion, so Venice has Buddhism, so now all religions in the game are done. Finished monument. What can you build? We have wheat, cattle, cattle, uh, granary doesn't actually give the bonus for cattle. Stables give nice bonuses, so let's build stables, I guess. Uh, that's just wheat. Yeah, let's build some stables. Maybe we should just increase production. Let's just reassign this. So we want to be working this style. And this style and the rest I'm not actually sure. So this is 25 turns until stables and 3 turns until next citizen. Now let's get all the 3, three foot tiles first and then in 3 turns we're going to get the production tile of some kind, probably this one. Okay, so I think this is it. Uh, next episode will probably go to defensive war with Egypt. Or at least Egypt wants... Egypt as it's considering, maybe they change their mind after they've seen my bowman here. Uh, anyway, that's probably what's gonna happen next episode. And, well, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye!